<laughs> all right, take a look. We've got blue sky, nothing like that headed our way at all. Uh, and the cooler weather we're talking about is not going to lead to any of that. We just don't have the moisture in place, so don't even consider that. Wanted to show you the wind speeds, lack thereof, really, because past couple of days it has been very strong. We told you it would, gave you the first alert, bam, there it was, but here it is not. So nice and calm in most areas across the valley today. Do the little spin game there and you get an idea right there uh, for uh, tonight. Really just looking at things, things staying calm. So I don't see that changing, but watch when they do change. They don't start to ramp up tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna say breezy at worst. We're not looking at similar winds that we saw just the other day, past couple of days, uh, 16 mile per hour sustained winds, not just gust tracker, it's our wind tracker. So uh, 16 miles per hour for Anthem, 16 for Enterprise, 15 for Summerlin. And they stick around, it looks like uh, through a Thursday morning as well. So we'll still see some of those winds. They might pop up a little stronger than that, but we're not looking at a major wind event across the valley, but the winds make a comeback. But so do the 70s. After a nice little bout with the 80s, starting tomorrow, it'll be very nice. Uh, things look good here. The only wet weather we can find near Chicago, down throughout the mid-Atlantic region, the south, southeast as well. That's where we're seeing all the activity. Just not seeing a whole lot going on on the, the really the west coast anywhere. So uh, I guess that's okay because we'll have our chance. During winter, we tend to get quite a bit of rainfall and snowfall. So we'll be watching that very closely. Here's the setup next seven days. The 80s don't start on Friday. Actually, if anything, they'll be winding down. We like to show you the weekend. That's our 13 First Alert commitment to you. And the weekend shows 70. So there is a cool down on the way. But before that, we do start to warm up starting tomorrow. And then the temperatures start to come down from there. But look at those overnight lows. They still stay on the chilly side. Afternoon highs, 80s for a spell, then into the 70s. And guess what returns? Those 80s again. Notice no 90s here in the forecast at all. We're really breaking the back of those intense temperatures and getting much closer to normal for this time of year. Back to you, Carla.